Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing an introduction to organic chemistry. This video is targeted more towards uh, if you're at the basic stages of orgo, such as high school, at the high school level. So we're going to talk about uh, naming organic molecules, the very basics of the bonding, things of that nature. So let's just dive right into this video. So the first thing I want us to establish here is that the basis of organic chemistry lies in our favorite element here, carbon. This element, you should really familiarize yourself with this element because it will be everywhere. It is like the most basic thing that you will work with in organic chemistry. So if we actually pull up the periodic table, we see here that carbon is in group number 14. And if you haven't learned this in your previous chemistry class, you'll learn it now. There's a little bit of a trick you can do where you can count the group numbers uh, on the periodic table and you will know how many valence electrons there are. And in this case, carbon is uh, period, or sorry, element number six, but in group 14 or technically 4A, as you can see here. So it has four valence electrons and it can make four bonds. It has opportunity to make four bonds, as you can see here. Now it can become four single bonds as I've drawn here. We can also have two double bonds which add up to four bonds. We can have one double bond and two single bonds which also add up to four bonds. So the way it makes four bonds, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily matter or it is it's very flexible in that it can make four bonds whichever way you want. It could be this way, this way, this way. It just depends on the neighboring elements, what other elements it's interacting with. So don't fret if you see carbon bonded this way and on your test and you freak out and you say, I've never seen carbon bonded like that. It can be, just count the bonds. One, two, three, four. We have four bonds, we're good to go. And this is the most basic thing that you should know about carbon. It can always make, it's looking to make four bonds. That is stable for carbon, that's what it does. So the next thing I want us to focus on is the general formula for hydrocarbons. So what do I mean by hydrocarbons? Essentially what I mean is, I said carbon is the most basic element in organic chemistry, and a lot of the times carbon is bonded to hydrogen. Most, mo you will almost always see hydrogen bonded to carbon in in organic molecules so what do we call those we call those hydrocarbons and this is the most basic formula of an organic molecule here it's cn h2n plus two okay so what does that mean that means you can put any number for n and this will tell you how many carbons you have and how many hydrogens you will have corresponding to those carbon numbers so let's say you have a molecule that is three carbons long, right? So we're going to put C3, that's going to be the subscript there. So how many, and let's say you get a question, how many hydrogens do we have here? Well, you have your formula, C3, H2 times 3 plus 2. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is going to be 8. And even if you didn't know the formula, for example, and you just drew it out, you will you can count them after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hydrogens. This is just a shortcut, uh, which you might need to use if you're pressed for time. But you can always draw it out. And this is how you would draw it out. You would draw your carbons, your bonds to them, right? But you need to make sure that each carbon has four bonds. Remember, that is the most important number for carbon here, four. So we have carbon bonded to one other carbon, so it has three other bonds it needs to make. So we're going to add three more hydrogens here. The middle carbon has two bonds to two other carbons, so it can have two other bonds for hydrogen, totaling up to four for this middle carbon here, as we can see. And this carbon here has one carbon bonded on the left side there, and we have to add another three hydrogens to total up to four bonds in total for this. So that leaves us with c 3 h Eight. So now we're going to talk about naming basic organic molecules. And one thing I want you to know is that the bond type will affect the name of the molecule. So, so far, oh, it's a bit shifted here, but so far what we've looked at is carbon singly bonded to a bunch of other elements, singly bonded to other carbons, and singly bonded to hydrogens, as we can see here. 
This is called an alkane. When you have single bonds in between these carbons, this is an alkane. You're going to have to remember that. Let's say you have carbons that are double bonded to each other with other bonding. This is called an alkene with an E. So that tells us that there's a double bond here in, the, in between these carbons here in the, in the backbone of this molecule. Let's say we have a triple bond because carbon can also make a triple bond as long as we have four bonds in total, right? One, two, three, four. So this carbon has four and this carbon also has four if you, you know, do the counting. So what do we call a triple bonded carbon? Uh, this is called an alkyne bond, so that's the triple bond. So you're just going to have to remember these names. This would be an alkane, an alkene, and an alkyne. And so these names are going to be useful when you start naming basic organic molecules because you're going to use this suffix, the ane, the ene, and the ine when you want to name things. And I'll explain that in a bit. So I just talked about suffixes a little bit, but you also need to be aware of prefixes, so the, the beginning root of the name. And so here's the list. If you're in high school, this is probably as far as you're going to go, up to 10 carbons. Um, so each root or prefix here tells you essentially how many carbons you have. So you have meth for one carbon, eth for two carbons, prop for three carbons, but for four carbons, pent for five carbons, hex for six, hept seven, etc. oct, non, and dec. So basically what you do is you're going to look at how many carbons you have, which will tell you what the, the prefix is, the beginning of the name is, and then you're going to look at um, what type of bond it is. Is it an alkane? Is it single bonded? Is it an alkene, a double bond? Or is it an alkyne, a triple bond? And that will be sort of the, the suffix, the, the last part of the name. So let's do a couple examples to make sure we're on the same track here. So it's a bit dark to see, but uh, this molecule, I want us to do this one together and then I'll leave the next one for you. So here we can see we have two carbons. So what does that tell us? That means our name is going to start with eth. It's going to be eth something. Now, is it a singly bonded backbone here? Is it single bonded carbons between each other? Are they double bonded, triple bonded? We see that they're double bonded. So does that make it an alkane, alkene, or alkyne? Well, if you really paid attention, you would know it's an alkene. So it's going to be eth and ene. So this is called ethene, and that's how you name it. Let's do another one. So here, once again, count the carbons. One, two, three, four. What's that called? But. I'm hoping you're saying this before I say it. And what type of bond is, it, is this? It's an alkane. So we're going to put those two together. But and ane, because it's an alkane. So what is this called? It's called butane. Simple enough. Here's a little bit of a, a, little, a little harder question. Uh, this was based on a couple other slides that I showed you. C4H10. Remember the general formula for hydrocarbons. What was it again? Yes, it's CnH2n plus 2, okay? So actually, I want you to maybe even draw this out on your own time uh, while you're watching this video and try to name this. So you can pause the video and try to name it. So what it is is, so if you draw C4, so you're going to draw four carbons such as here, it's essentially this molecule that I have here. I just wanted you to draw it out. So you're going to have C4 and H10. This, these are 10 hydrogens. So what's this called? We already named it already. It's butane because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, but, and it's an alkane, so butane. And that's it for today. Uh, be sure to check out the next video. I'm going to be building a little bit more on these basics. We're going to talk about brackets in between our, our formula naming and uh, other types of bonding, uh, bonding at different carbons only, different branching, things like that. So be sure to check out the next video when it comes out.